Hi, everybody. Matt Bernier joined by Dan Illman taking a look at Kentucky Derby contender profiles. This time around, we take a look at Free Drop Billy going out for Dale Romans, a horse that has already won over the Churchill Downs main track in the past as a two-year-old. And Dan, he's done some good things on the racetrack, but it feels like he's not really taking any sort of steps forward in this three-year-old prep season. Well, he hasn't really done it from a buyer speed figure standpoint, but from watching his races, I kind of like some things. I'm getting positive vibes from all three of Free Drop Billy's races. The Holy Bull was his first start of the year. He happened to catch Audible, who's going to be one of the favorites in the Kentucky Derby. And he made a good, strong run at Audible, turning into the stretch before being turned away. And I wonder if maybe he felt the effects of that layoff. We did some numbers with Formulator going into that race, and Dale Romans with three-year-olds off that kind of a layoff in graded stakes dirt routes didn't have great numbers. It was an odd turn back in the Gotham, I thought, to a one-turn mile, two starts back. And I think our colleague David Aragona of Timeform US made a very good point on out of the gate about this horse's trip because he was kind of in and among horses while in the four or five path. He got to the outside and then he kind of finished evenly behind enticed. I wonder if he didn't like being in between horses most of the way. And last time out in the Gotham, we'll throw uh, the bluegrass, pardon me, we'll throw that race up right now. He was never Never going to beat the two-year-old champion, Good Magic. We see him on the far outside, but I think there's a good chance that in this race he is going to finish second, if not for being impeded terribly by the absolute lunatic sporting chance. Just watch this horse. He's staying on free drop, Billy. Maybe he has a chance to finish second or third, and he just gets completely taken away. He's still running at the end of this race. Uh, he was also shuffled a little bit on the back stretch. Wide is turning into the stretch before being impeded. He has a long distance pedigree. He's a half to a horse that won that $6 million Dubai turf, I think, at a mile and a half. He's by Union Rags, a Belmont Stakes winner. There are some things to like about Free Drop Billy. Does he have to run the race of his life to win the Kentucky Derby? Sure he does. But I wonder if he's kind of a sleeper in your single race exotics, maybe like your Superfecta. A number of people have made the joke, but it's worth repeating. I don't know what sporting chance, what what Free Drop Billy had done to sporting chance at any point in his life, but in two different races, he almost completely cleans him out. Once at Saratoga and once there in Lexington, well, he doesn't have to deal with him in Louisville. As far as the distance is concerned, we've talked about it with some of these horses. Maybe the 10 furlongs isn't going to be to their liking. You brought up the fact that he's a half to Hawk Bill, who does a lot of, most of his damage going long on turf. Union Rag's generally not a particularly strong turf influence thus far in his career. The good news, if you like Free Drop Billy, the 10 furlongs should be sort of right in his wheelhouse, shouldn't it? From a pedigree standpoint, it should be. He's turfy on the bottom. You mentioned Hawk Bill. The dam could go all day long on the turf. But then when you look at his performances and you see those good one-turn races last year, I know he won the Breeders' Futurity at a mile and a 16th first time around, but you could argue he lacked punch in the Holy Bull. He lacked punch in the Gotham. He lacked punch in the Bluegrass. It's always hard. They've got to run to the pedigree. From a pure pedigree standpoint, boy, I think a mile and a quarter is fine for him. Again, I think while his three races have not been fast, they there have been enough good things that he deserves to be in this race. And if he gets the right trip, can maybe factor in the outcome, at least from the bottom of an exotic standpoint. Uh, an unlikely winner, perhaps, simply because he's just a little bit slow on paper. But there's something here with Free Drop, Billy. We'll, we'll hear more from him down the road, I would hope. How important for you going into a race like the Kentucky Derby is prior experience and particularly winning experience at a track like Churchill Downs? Some people, they just throw their hands up and say, not important. Other people think it's the end all be all. You land somewhere in the middle. I wouldn't say it's the greatest factor in the world, but it can't hurt. Uh, it can't hurt that he liked Churchill Downs. Can't hurt that he won first out five furlongs. He looked really good doing it that day. Led him to Saratoga. He did some very nice things. You mentioned the hopeful against Sporting Chance. Um, the Apollo curse, does that scare me? Yeah, I think that scares me a little bit more than maybe a horse that doesn't have winning experience at Churchill Downs, although the Apollo curse doesn't really scare me that much. All these rules are made to be broken. There is horse, some horses for courses, but it's not like Free Drop Billy is thrown in stinkers everywhere else. He's run well at Keeneland, he's run well at Gulfstream, and he's run well enough at places like Aqueduct that I don't think Free Drop Billy is a, a true horse for course, but it's nice to know he can win at Churchill Downs. Certainly going to need to step up from a buyer speed figure standpoint, but pedigree wise, the 10 furlongs look like they should be in his wheelhouse. Dale Romans knows a thing or two about getting horses ready to go the first Saturday in May and running well in the Kentucky Derby. We'll find out if Free Drop Billy is another one that runs well in Louisville.